Hello friends, uh, it is almost 4 a.m. It is early morning and I'm sleeping. You see that I'm sleeping, you know, and <laughs> quite uh, cold here. And uh, I cannot uh, take off all my clothes. Um, I'm under uh, two blankets also. I'm sleeping um, this uh, two weeks uh, um, underground shelter. It is really very cold. Um, and actually my dream is to um, lie on the simple bed and just relax and at least one or two nights have a possibility to sleep normally not with you know without these clothes normally uh, in, and uh, in warm house because actually our house now is quite warm and i just cannot use it i just i have to be here because um, any moment i could uh, you know hear this uh, strike that there is some ex explosions uh, and i'm feeling them here even if it's not here it's like seven or uh, ten kilometers around anyway uh, i i'm feeling it here very well um and um, it is scary you know to sleep and uh, to get get sleep and uh, you know that uh, with this uh, opinion that you can be killed by some missile or bomb um there is no um, much bombardments uh, i know this these days and our um, general uh, one of the generals told that actually that because russians the uh, pilots they refuse to throw bomb on the civilian people um as a sailors too sailors they don't want to uh go out on the coast of odessa it is big city in the south uh so some of russian soldiers they refuse to you know be a participant of this uh, genocide and this cruel war um and uh, it is good but anyway Putin now searching for pilots and as the general told that he tried to involve some uh, students uh, they are actually pilots they are on the last years of education and now they train you know hardly and actually they these young pilots they don't know for what uh, also I think uh, they uh, tell that it is just training it is just training and uh, you know on the border of belarus uh, but uh, they will be you know um, there will be command for them to throw bombs here uh, unfortunately and um, you know that sometimes I, i'm quite um, happy with a smile but anyway you know that uh, oh, this condition this uh, conditions what i'm like sleeping now and i'm sleeping this way uh, every night so uh, it makes me very sleepy i cannot you know do a lot of things i planned uh, during the day and this stress uh, because i'm I cannot actually, you know, distract and just do something, you know, not connected with uh, the situation around Ukraine. I'm all the time should, uh, you know, um, read or some information or watch videos. Um, and it is very stressful, of course. So uh, it's uh, another part of you know uh, war uh, what it look like uh, when you have problems with foods uh, with uh, water with m medicaments uh, if you need them 
uh, also you cannot you know sleep in warm bed uh, you should hide in you know underground somewhere and uh, also you're stressed all the time because this threat that you can be killed that someone will you know get in your house any moment because there is a lot of uh, such a uh, by the way, there is information that Putin today is told that the the uh, Russian soldiers actually they got very bad food, uh, uh, this dried food for soldiers. It was uh, uh, too old. It was uh, uh, seven years ago uh, produced and it's already like old uh, and they actually don't have proper food and so now... Uh, the president told that um, you should uh, you should uh, like uh, search food by yourself. Army won't feed you, and what it means it means that he uh, let uh, the his soldier uh, rubber people because where where they can found uh, food you know uh, in uh, other country they they should then they should rub a stores with their weapon uh, people um so it is <laughs> they just terrorists simple terrorists i think and what kind of uh, uh organization putin want to involve it is uh, you know these people from syria from other african countries actually they are not you know um uh, democratic this this uh, groups uh, armed groups uh, he want to involve and uh, add to his army for war in ukraine unfortunately so uh, of course this condition is really very bad for me it's very hard to leave this house but i feel that uh, Mm, that uh, maybe I should do that anyway because it's really hard to to stay here, and I heard that people uh, who stayed in the house and uh, near Kiev and uh, war has come to their village or town. Uh, they actually live much more worse. They sitting all the time like I'm sitting like I'm sleeping now. Uh, now I, you know, I can freely go out, uh, you know, walk to the store. I have internet connection still. I have phone connection, but they do not have anything, even food. And actually, Russians they uh, take all phones um, and uh, do not let these people, you know, call police, uh, you know, to um, let this uh, police uh, know what happening inside uh, their captured territories. So these people become prisoners, and actually, I don't want to be a prisoner. I I so like um, worry about my house, about things inside, and I I'm afraid of this road to, to more safe places of you know regions of Ukraine. But to stay here, it's not safe, I think, now. And unfortunately, I understand it. And uh, so far, there is no, you know, you know, like second wave, second invasion. Mm, I guess I understand that I should leave. Because if I won't do this now, mm, I think that um, I, I will leave anyway and... Uh, it will be very hard for me. I may lose a lot, much more things than now, uh, and uh, it will it will be more frightening, more threatful. So <laughs> that was what I'm thinking about. It's really a very hard decision, but I think that anyway I should take my will all you know in inside and and left this and leave sorry this place this my house some people they left their house very you know 
sim it's very simple for them they live they don't have any you know like connection with home but for me this place is very important and uh, if i uh, this is thoughts that he will be some sitting some russian soldiers or some uh, robbers will you know take this uh, you know in my house something steal it um, it's it's really disappointing for me but anyway i'm afraid uh, my life is you know also <laughs> something precious for me and i stressed all the time i am sleeping like that as you see so unfortunately i should maybe left uh, sorry leave this house these days that is my conclusion thank you for watching maybe i will get up soon